Welcome back to part two of how to make your own morph UI inside of Roblox Studio, your own piggy morph UI. Um, in part one, we went over the main scripting UI and everything, and we did a little bit of Alphys. Um, that one will be in the description if you want to check it out before you check this one out. In this video, all we're going to do is we're going to finish off Alphys and go through these three skins at the back with different abilities on the jump scan. It'll be quite a fun one. So let's get straight into it. The crowd, the stun script is a little bit longer, I believe, but it shouldn't take too long. We can keep this script here if you wish. It's not actually that much different, I don't think. I'm just trying. That's the crouch. Uh, which ones? Yeah, that's that one. This one here. So all you want to do, you're gonna start with local is crawling equals false. You're gonna get rid of these three here. Local is crawling equals false and local humanoid equals game dot players colon local player let's search up again nope I just did colon <laughs> it's going to be dot local player my bad dot character colon wait for child humanoid local cruel not capital C cruel anim equals humanoid colon load animation open brackets humanoid dot parent dot stun it won't be able to detect it again so you can have to search here make sure you type correctly because that is inside the morph and not this and once you've got that part we're just going to go here so it's going to be this um, area you got now you can basically remove it all but for the moment I want to have a click I want to click some this one so this one's going to be a click button take the click sound and just put it into stun right there what we're gonna do is gonna go parent dot click colon play and then if is crawling equal to false then is crawling equals true with single equal this time is crawling equal true Crawl anim colon play and then script dot parent dot parent dot jump scare. Somewhere it's been really 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 slow. Dot jump scare dot visible uh, equals false. Oh wait no, this is where we can just do all of this stuff. So this is where you're going to have all of this thing, all of these parts here. Just going to go. You don't want to make the script on parent dot visible equal false this time, alright? You do not want that part there, so get rid of that one. You make crouch. No, this time we're going to make jump scare instead. Like that. And then you make stun, mainframe menu, false. Or well, mainframe menu, you don't want to do either this time, it's just closed. Alright? Just M3 there on this one. Not stun either, it's crouch. Alright, there we go. So you should have that part there, and then after this part, what we're gonna make is humanoid dot parent dot humanoid root part dot anchored equals true. You could either do this with walk speed and jump power, but it seems to always be easy with human uh, with anchoring it. So yeah, that's going to be like that. And then we're going to go else. So you can now get rid of all of this if you wish. I'm not going to. I'm only going to get rid of stuff from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, else. Then we're going to go is crawling equal false. 
crawl and in stop, which is going to stop the animation from playing. And then script.parent.parent. Dot, and this is where this part's going to come into play again. If we just take all of this here, Control C, Control V, at this part true, that one true, that one true, and then this one here false. Delete the bottom lines, and that is your stun script completed. Yep, and that, yeah, it is. That's your stun script completed. The crouch script, however, is a little bit different. I'm gonna have to go grab something because I actually forgot something. I'm gonna have to put that one in there because I did actually forget the animations, or I can just find it here somehow. I just gotta remember which one it's in. It is on. Yes, yeah, so I think it's on here. If we just go. Is it in here or is it in there? No, it's in here. On my models. I haven't loaded anything on it for ages though, so. I shouldn't have to worry about leaking anything. Oh, I hope I won't leak anything. Um, here. It is main GUI 10. So all you need is just, all I'm wanting is just the two animations. So all I need are the two crawling animations. Or the one crawling animation even. I actually forgot to grab it. So the crawling animation ID, if you do need it, I'll put it up on the screen right now. The crawling animation ID is... 6940938664 that is just for the crouch animation this is one that you don't actually need it's the same for every skin so you don't need to put it into the skin all you do inside a crouch you're just going to put um click the uh, click the plus button click animation and then inside this animation paste the id now you're going to name it is name it crawl animation or whatever you want to name it i'll name it crawl animation that's what you're going to name it. And then the crawl animation is a little bit longer. I don't actually know, I don't think it is. Is it? Is that. That's a jump scare. Yeah, it's not even actually that long, I don't think. Oh no, it is, it is quite long actually. This is probably longer than the ones we've done before. So we're going to go. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. We're gonna go local crawling is false and that one there as well. So we're gonna keep these top two scripts. Alright, we're gonna keep these top two lines. So local is crawling and local humanoid stays the same. Local crawl anim is gonna become load animation script wait for child. It's gonna be script wait for child. And inside that we're gonna put crawl animation like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go script, the parent and mouse, uh, no, now we need another bit of scripting that's going to go in here. This part is going to say, humanoid dot running, like that, colon connect, um, connect, open brackets, function, open brackets again, put speed in there, then open that one there, if speed, is greater than zero, then crawl anim colon adjust speed open brackets one and then we're gonna go here else crawl anim colon adjust speed zero all right then we're gonna have end and end then we're gonna have the button the button script which is gonna make click sound play local is cruel if is crawling equal to false then is crawling true cruel and in play basically all the same now cruel and in adjust speed zero And we're going to have all of that part visible and instead of anchoring it this time because we don't want to anchor it we go humanoid dot walk speed equals eight and humanoid dot jump power equals 15 and the second half is going to be 
the basically the exact same, we're just gonna have stop. And then the walk speed and the jump power. This time just need to be 13 and 25. Alright. That's all of them scripts completed now actually. What we want to do is go into alpha and so make sure that in every skin's humanoid it is gonna be walk speed 13 and jump power 25. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into replicated storage and you're going to add a folder called morphs. Alright, there's the folder called morphs, like that, and then inside this folder we're just going to put alphys, just alphys into morphs, and then we're going to put all four of these, actually no, leave all four of them there, I should make sure all of these sounds are not playing, so is playing false, like that. Now if we just click play here, fingers crossed, everything should work. We've added everything in. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Alright. So if we now just go, it should test. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. What are we going to do? Click open. And click alpha, there you go. It spawns in, go in there, click actions. Jump scale, loads of animation, everything. Does that and you got stunned. Does that one? I don't know why it's not anchoring. You can remove that. That's fine though. We'll fix that in a second. Crouch. Make some crouch. Change the walk speed in that. I think it does. Like that. So it jumps good. Nice and easy. I'll open it and go out this. Three spawns in. As you can see. I'll just check the output for a couple of things. You see that there's a couple of. It probably jumps, I probably accidentally mis um, thinking something, misnamed something. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go output and I'm going to click this. If I just click the blue line, it takes me to the store. No? Jumps on oh no, it here, up a bit top. Here, no. So in stun, stun is not a valid member of. Oh, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's normal, that happens. Actually quite annoying, but yeah, jumps is not a valid member of frame action menu. Stun local script is seems to all be happening in the stun area. So the stun local script it says jumps somewhere. Oh here. Yep, that'll be why. That'll be why. It make jump scare visible false on the lo the stun. When you next test it, it should be fine. I'd hope. Uh, let me just check. It's probably the same in the crouch as well, that's why it's not changing the walk speed. It didn't look like it was changing the walk speed to be honest, but then we should make a jump scare and jump scare. And if we just went play here once more, it should be fine. Then I'll show you how to add multiple hit sounds, add effects, and then I'll add you add show both of them combined in Willow. Okay. So this is just a really 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 simple one. It's just a normal jump scare. Normal jump scare. Stun. Now anchors him, and then you got crouch. Does that? I don't know why that's not doing that. I think probably a problem with that one as well. Then, so you see, slows him down this time. And you go there. There's a couple of bugs, obviously. Um, if I just go into crouch, all it is is just make this one here, make it stun instead of crouch. Right, just like that. It's just similar mistakes like that. I, I even make them, as you can see, I've just made like loads of mistakes there. As you can see, that one works. No errors now other than that one there. And that is good. So, that is your first morph done. The other one shouldn't take as long now because everything is scripted, alright? What you're going to do is you're going to add this main GUI. And then you don't have to do this, you can do it different ways, but this is how I do it, and it's probably the worst way you can do it. What we're going to do, main GUI duplicate it. The entire thing and we're going to name main gui2 morph client duplicate and name it morph client 2 and then remote events duplicate the morph event and name it morph event 2 in morph client 2 we're going to make morph event 2 if that's um fired then you should make main gui2 dot enabled all right like that with twins what we're going to do is we're going to add in the same scripts are in alpha so we're going to grab the footstep script and the animate Stun and swing, control C. Then I'm going to go into twins and place all four of them. So you've got the animate, footstep, script, stun and swing. Nice and easy. 
In here, in the root part, we're just going to put the sounds. So twins, 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 and twins. Control C. And we're going to put into the root part all four of these sounds. So you've got twins, ambience, which is going to be their theme. Delete the word twins. Delete the word twins. Yours obviously won't be like this. You've got to make sure they're named ambience, footstep, hit sound, and jump scare. And you have stun and swing. Now we're going to have to change all the animations for everything, so you're just going to back into the animation editor, open up this one, you see that we've got all of these sounds here, so you've got the walk animation, I'm going to go publish, Z walk one submit, and copy the script. Okay, I'm going to go into animate, walk, drop down, and then walk, paste that one in there. We're then going to load up the idle animation here, see that we've got the idle animation, just go publish, Dead idle one, submit, copy that one there, idle, animation one, control V, and then we're gonna go here, strike. And you see now they've got their strike. We're gonna come back to we'll come back to later actually. We're gonna go submit, copy, then we're gonna close that one back up, swing, paste that one in there. And their stun is different, so I've actually got to get a different stun for them. Their stun is because it, it is two different models for them. Then we're going to Z stun, copy, and then put that one there. Just like that. Okay? Nice and simple. That's everything we need to, in the animation. So we'll, we'll, we will need to come back in a little while. There's all of that done. We're just going to make sure this one is now playing. That's just their theme. This script should work and their animation should now be fine. I'm just going to check their humanoid like I do every time. 13 and 25. We're then going to put them, we could put them in there, but we're not going to put them in there yet. We're now just going to go into main GUI 2. Then we're going to do open into main frame, actions menu, and jump scare. Now, because this has multiple hit sounds, we're going to make wait will be when the first hit sound plays. So it's now going to be, if you open up the script, if you open up strike, you see the at one here is actually marked as hit sound one, hit sound two, which is there, and hit three. All right, if we go, where's the animation events? So here, you see that it says hit, and it'll say what time they are. This first one is at, if I can just get it, 0.53. So in the script now, what you're going to do is you're going to make it do 0.53 hit sound play and then we're going to add another wait and this one's going to be waiting in the time between 0.53 and 0.67 which is 0.14 then all you're going to do is you're going to go wait 0.14 and you're going to go chr dot humanoid root part dot hit sound colon play and then we're going to do wait and the time between 0.67 and we can just get it to show up 0.93 is going to take a little bit of working out hold on 0.67 minus or 0.93 minus 0.67 is 0.93 minus 0.67 is 0.26, so we're just going to go 0.26 chr dot humanoid root part dot hit sound colon play, and then we're just going to make it go wait two. Once you've done that, the script is then done. Go into twins, put them into morphs, and you're done. All we want to do now is go into Morph GUI, into here, into Alphys, take the script in Alphys, copy it, put it into Twins, and inside Twins, what we're going to do is we're going to make it do Morph Event 2, and then Morphs.Twins, like that, okay, so you should have them ones like that, click play here, and then once you click Twins, it should morph you into Twins and the jump skirt should be different. Okay, like this, and then if we just go here, we'll max out the graphics this time to make it a little bit better. I'm going to go open 
twins, you see spawn as twins, like that. Take actions. Jump scare, it takes a little while for the animation to load sometimes. But you see, it sounds work fine. Feel free, it sounds stun, works, and then the crouch is a little bit weird for them because they don't have an actual animation. Because they're two different models, like a scale. That should work, and then you've got to open it, switch over to outfits. You can indeed change the ones you use. If you outfits, you can change twins. If you're twins, you can change the it's, it's easy. It's alright, it's easy. If you reset, you obviously change back to normal avatar. Next one I want to do now is going to be Toby. Now, Toby is simple, I guess. Toby's kind of simple. Um, again, we grab an animation. I'm not sure if his is different, but I had this one ready earlier, so I'm just going to put this one straight back inside of him. Makes it a little bit quicker for us then. We've already got the animations there. Grab all four of his sounds, put them into his you want to Drew part. Then we've got Ambience. Play, and then we've got the Footstep. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. Just make sure that they are all how they should be, where it's playing and looped off or on. Volume is how you want it to be, and the distance is how you want it to be. Distance doesn't really, doesn't really matter on these because it is local anyway, so only you'll hear it. I'm not sure how you make them um, global yet, but let me know if you know. So, a jump scare, you got the hit sound, you got the jump scare. Now, you see the hit sound? Is a full hit sound, and that is not the hit sound that plays in Piggy. Hit sound is um, trimmed, let's put it again. Hit sound is trimmed down in Piggy. Jump scare is that obviously, and you got the hit sound, uh, footstep in the ambience. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add two animations now. So one's going to be swing, and one is going to be stun. So we're just going to go swing and stun. You should see that one there. And if we just go back to the animation editor again, into Toby. Got the stun there, but we don't want the stun, we just want strike. And there you go. We're just gonna go publish. Toby strike, submit, copy. Uh into here. I forgot where I was going for a second. Put that into there, and then we're just gonna go here. Import from Roblox. Um main stun, copy the link, submit, put the stun into there, and then paste it into there. That's that part done. Now, if you can find out where his play is, thing is, it's in hose, water attachment. You see the water's there. Now, once you've got the water, this is enabled. You've got that part there, all right? So you've got the water. You disable that part. That's what we want to enable inside the jump scare, okay? Now, again, on the strike, it's going to show you when the water starts there and where the water stops there all right what you want to do is you want to go again morph client to duplicate it make it morph client free duplicate this one morph event free and then duplicate main gui2 and make it main gui3 and inside morph client free Add it so it's going to activate Morph Event 3 and make Main GUI 3 enabled true. What you then want to do is we're going to go into Main GUI 3 and then into Jump Scares. Now, this one we do not want multiple hit sounds, so we can get rid of all of them parts there. So you're back to the basic script, alright? Now, once the jump scare plays, we're going to go wait how long? So it's going to be wait. And if I can get the timing here, it's going to be wait. If I can just get the right place, where is it? No, it won't let me view it this time. Oh, oh, it's up there. Of course it is. So it's going to be wait. It's going to be between 0.75 and 0.83. So the center point for that is. What's the center point for 0.83? 8.3 minus 0 0.75, 0 0.08, so if I then just go 0 0.75, add 0 0.08, oh, wait, so it's going to be 0.04 then, right? It's going to be 0 0.79. 
So I'm going to do weight 0 0.79. I'm going to weight 0 0.79. Hit sound play. Or hit sound. Yeah, hit sound play. Character dot. And you got to find the right part. So I'm going to be hose dot water attachment dot water dot enabled equals true and you're going to do another weight and this one's going to be the weight between that one point and this next point which is going to be the midpoint between 1.25 and 1.33 so I'm going to have to work this one out again that's going to be 1.33 minus 1.25 Okay, so it's not so it's 1.25. Probably works out in my head, but I'm just, just too late. What 0.04? 1.29. So that's going to be 1.29 minus 0.79, which is going to be 1.29 minus 0.79 is 0.5. So it's going to do weight 0.5 here. And you're going to copy both of these lines here. And you're going to go character dot hit sound stop, and then you're going to make the water enabled equals false. And then all you're going to do close down that one, close down the local script, and then we're going to go and put him into. Actually, wait, we need the footstep script first, don't we? Yeah. So you're going to go into morphs alphys footstep script, copy it. And then it's Toby and paste it in there, right? Now we should have everything. We just want to check the humanoid real quick. It is 13 and 25, correct? Put Toby into replicate storage and then into morphs like that. And then that should be that part completed, I believe. And then inside of main GUI 3, that's all done. Now we're just going to go into morph GUI. Go into Alphys, copy the script, put it into Toby. And we're going to go into click script and we're going to make this one Toby. And then this one here, morph event free. Now if we just go play here, it should then load it up so we have Then it should load up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then if we click open, click Toby. I just forgot to make his theme playing. It's fine. You should have that. You should have all of his animations. I find it's a little bit laggy on my end. I don't know why. Then we click oh, action. Obviously, it's a bit slow to load up again. Fine, all right. You have stun, does that, and crouch. It's a little bit broken on Toby, as you can see, but that's fine. Just, uh, the sound plays and stops, the sound plays and stops. Pretty simple. Now, if we combine them two skills we just learned, so we do the um, particles and that, and we also do the double hit sounds, what we can then do is we can get Willow complete. So if we go into Willow, and we get the animate footstep script uh, stun and swing copy all of them put them into willow so you have stun swing animate and footstep script the animation i actually still need one of the animations for willow and that's a walk so i'm going to just quickly try and grab that i'll be back in one second so after a very many many hours of perseverance i finally found the, the walk animation for willow it kind of took a little while to be honest, but we found it, we found it. So what we're going to do now is we've got all three animations, all three, and then we've got the stun as well. So what we're going to do, publish this, we've got the Willow Walk 1, submit it, copy the link. Same thing again, we're just going to fill in the animations, put walk into the walk animation, and then go here, idle animation, and you see you've got the idle, which is uh, crossing our arms. Not looking too happy, but we, we move. Willow Idol, gonna copy it, and then we're gonna go here. Animation editor, put that one there, and then we're gonna go strike animation. 
as you'll see, strike animation has two jump scares, whatever, two sounds, and you also have to activate the parts, whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close down that part and we're going to make swing, the swing animation. The stun animation stays the same, so we can keep that one like that. Inside of a gun part, we have the different parts we're going to need, so there's embers and there's flash, they both get enabled, which is like that, and then there's also this one when he's enabled. Embers and flash, they're easy ones, then we've got image 1 and image 2, which also become enabled, and that creates the gun effect that you see inside the game. As long as we can just make sure all of them are enabled false, so all of these enabled and then not enabled. All we're going to do, oops, I didn't mean to open that, let me just minimize that real quick. And it's stuck for some reason. It's stuck. Please, rah! I leave it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go. All right, we're going to go. What am I doing now? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. We need to grab. Oh, we got the footstep script. Sounds. That's what I wanted to do. So sounds. Okay, now I got rid of Toby and Twin sounds. For some reason, I copied them before. Put all of Willow's sounds into her human and droop part. Make sure our ambience is playing this time. And that's going to be our ambience, and then we've got the footstep, the hit sound, and the hit sound too, which is a gunshot, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to name them all the same, so it's going to be hit sound, hit sound two, footstep, and ambience. Alright, so now, if we go into things we've now got out of fourth and final for today morph client morph event and main GUI so that one main GUI 3 now becomes main GUI 4 and then remote events we have a morph event 4 so I'm going to go into morph client 4 on morph event 4 make main GUI 4 enabled true Easy as that. That's them two parts dealt with. Main GUI 4 now though, we're just going to go into here, into here, and into jump scare. And now we're just going to go local script. Alright. We're now going to go... Hmm, get rid of water. We don't want the water to be shown. And then get rid of the other the hit zone and the other part of water, okay? We should be back to the original script once more. It's the normal script is what it used to be, alright? What we're now going to do is we're going to go into Willow and we're going to go into our animation editor again. Here is going to be the first hit sound. This kick is at 0.33. So we're going to go wait 0.33 hit sound play. And we're going to do wait the difference between 0.33 and 0.73 which is 0.4. And then going to go wait 0.4 chr dot humanoid root part dot hit sound to play all right and then on the same as this sound happens we also want to go character dot gun part dot embers dot enabled equals true chr dot gun part dot flash dot enabled equals true and then chr dot gun part dot image dot enabled equals true and last but not least character dot gun part part dot image two dot enabled equals true and you can change what you want so I think it's 0 0.1 is the time that it waits before it disables them now 0.1 you're just going to go false, 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 and then false. Just like that, alright? So you should have all of them. That should be Willow complete. Chuck Willow into the morphs. And all we're going to do is go into morph GUI, right here. Uh, morph menu, Alphys, click script, Willow, put it in there. And inside Willow, we're just going to go change it so it's going to be morphing in into Willow, into Willow, into Willow with morphing four. And now we're going to hit play. 
and hopefully, fingers crossed, this should work. And then you'll get into these ones. I will show more videos, I will come up with more videos over time, just showing how to do different things like stuff on seals, as where you have the theme that changes after you do the jump scare, or ones like. Wait, I'm too close to Alpha Zero. Or ones like. I don't know. Who else has unique jump scares? I guess. Um, no idea, no idea who has different jump scares. I guess different things. If you saw Magician in my last game, he hid like the sphere, went around him, I could show you how to do that as well. It's a lot of different stuff. You don't do Willow. You see, she spawns in, got the animations, got actions, jump scare. Great. Oh, wait, there is no jump. There's no jump scare. That that'll probably help actually. That probably helps. So what you wanna do inside morph inside morph event four because there's no jump scare. What you gotta do is just go swing play and then you just go wait 0.33. So there's no jump scare this time. We'll try it once more, shall we? We'll try it once more. Now I'm also gonna show you something in a minute which will help you with making your GUIs the same on each device. So, if I'll switch over to iPhone, all the GUIs will be huge. So I'll show you how to change that so that they're all the same size on every device. Now you got Willow. The stun does that, Crouch does that, and then you got the jump scare. As you saw, the, the effects are out on everything. And you have that bang, bang. Like that. You to open it up, you go outfit. Is on sort of there. A little bit lag at the moment on my side of things, so that's a disadvantage, I guess. Action. Again, if we just open up twins. There you go, and you go open. Or not open actions. Then one, then you got stun and everything, and it all works fine. Alright, so then if you went open, you like. It's easy, really easy, really easy. Like I said, I was going to show you how to do the UI trick thing because if I went on to here, if I went iPhone 4S, you'll see that open is huge. If I want to do Xbox One, open is tiny. So I normally use my on average laptop, so that's what I keep it on. If you just go into each UI, click button, open button, and that's it, that's all the only one here. Go into plugins and then here. I'll put a link to this in the description. I think I have in previous games as well. I'll put a link to it. All you do, click unit conversion and click scale and scale. As long as it's not a scrolling frame, it will be fine. Or stuff inside a scrolling frame, it will be fine. So just do all three of them, and scale and scale. And then do them ones as well. And then in here, we'll do all of them in a minute though. I'm just gonna go scale, scale. Um, all three of these, all of them, let's go them and them, scale, scale, and inside main GUI 4, crouch, jump, scale and stun, scale, scale, and in a morph GUI you're going to have that one, morph menu, Alphys, Willow, Twins, Toby, exit button and morph text, scale, scale, and then lastly, main GUI, go for all of them, scale, scale. Now you see if I was to go on to iPhone X, you see the open is still sized on the screen. If I was to go on to that one, and if I was to go on to Xbox One, it's still sized correctly, okay? If I was then to however, go on to play here, oh, I didn't want to do it on average laptop. I didn't want to do it on laptop, I wanted to do it on a different thing like Xbox, something like that. If I was to put it on to... Is it going to stop or did it not register? I click stop. No, it did. If I go on to a Samsung Galaxy S3, so it's a bit smaller, right? And then if I play here, and then once it plays, you the UI is sized how it should be. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move away from that for a second. I think I'm going to move it. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't move it on. Keyboard anyway, you got that. All you're gonna do, click open, and you see that all of them size how they should be. Outfits, actions is, and you see everything is 
so I expect you to jump. Like that and crouch, you can jump obviously. The open willow. As you see. But let's check that out before, so this is open. Doesn't have to be closed, yeah. That's fine, I've never actually showed you how to script that bit, but it's pretty easy to swap around the script. So there you go. That is basically everything complete. Um, I will put a link, link down in the description for a couple of things. Um, I think that's about it. I will come out with more videos as well for like adding stuff for seals, as for example. I did say I'll do ones for seals, as where the theme changes, where you get parts on his skin like change colour or whatever. Or there's ones like uh, who else is there? I'm just trying to think who else, like torture ones like them, which is basically what you done for Toby, which is about the, making it a, a mitter. Not sure what other ones there might be one. Oh, there's a good one, Delta, where it creates an explosion at that part. That's a pretty cool one we can do. If I can figure out how to script that one, because I'm going to use a particle emitter. Um, not too sure if there's many. I'll, I'll think so, and I'll come out with videos. Suggest anything down in the description. I will be doing a cutscene tutorial, a new cutscene tutorial soon. I will also be doing a the helper test, helper making a helper part two, a last I guess, soon as well. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, I will do more um, scripting tutorials. Some might not even be piggy. Some might just be scripting tutorials. Like yeah, it just depends. All right. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to never miss another video. Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Um, other than that guys, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.